Long time no see. Hear from. <laughs> Long time no communication. So I haven't been on here. It seemed like forever. Probably was on here a few days ago, but I don't remember. Um, but on here, today, I'm just on here speaking to all women. All, all women. All believe in women. Believe on Jesus Christ. All the women that believe on Jesus Christ for salvation. I'm talking to all of y'all, all of us. I'm even talking to myself, and I have to keep reminding myself of this almost every day. At least once a week. Um, this is for all the believing women who have had the Proverbs 31 woman shoved down their throat continuously since they started believing on Christ. <laughs> We've had the, I, the Proverbs 31 woman is the ideal woman. That's the woman you want to be. Compare your life to hers. If it ain't lining up, then you ain't the ideal woman. Strive to be this woman. Strive to do what she did. Strive, strive, strive to be the woman that she is or was or never was or I've heard that it's an ideal woman. It's not an exact woman, but yet and still it's shoved down our throats like, I don't know. But it's been shoved down my throat since I started believing on Christ. After I started believing on Christ, I started getting, you should be like the Proverbs 31 woman shoved down your throat. And even people use it to me, toward me as a compliment, which I, I guess is cool. Thank you. But that is not the ideal woman. The ideal woman is Christ. I mean, not the ideal woman is Christ. Do not model yourself after the Proverbs 31 woman. Model yourself after Jesus Christ. And I know some people, some crazy people be like, Jesus Christ ain't no woman. I'm not saying he a woman. I'm not saying that the Proverbs 31 woman is foolish and don't do nothing or don't look at her. Look at, you know, the scriptures that speak about her. I'm not saying that. Don't discredit those scriptures. It's scripture. It's something good about her else she wouldn't be in here. Um... But don't ever get caught up on trying to become the Proverbs 31 woman. That's not who we're supposed to model our life after. Our life is supposed to be modeled after the character, the love, the forgiveness, the the patience of Jesus Christ himself. So whenever you get down and you're feeling like you're not measuring up as a woman, probably because you're comparing yourself to a whole bunch of other women you've met, or you comparing your somebody, you compare yourself to the Proverbs 31 woman. Um which is just an ideal woman. I don't even think she existed. Um, but yes, model yourself after Christ. And in the Word of God somewhere, look it up on Google, <laughs> please, because I don't have the resources right here with me to look it up. Um, the Proverbs 31 woman, I mean, in Scripture, it says that it's foolish to compare ourselves with each other. It's very foolish. And to compare yourself to anybody but Christ is very foolish because that person is going to fall short somewhere. Like, even though the Proverbs 31 woman, I have it open before me, even though she um, gives food to the poor, you know, makes clothes for her family, feeds her family good food, they don't ever have lack, they don't ever have to worry, da 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 da. She doing this, she up here doing that. She's you know, her husband's proud of her, her children's proud of her, they raise up a rise up and call her blessed. Da 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 she got a lot of stuff about her that seems to be good, but it's a lot of stuff. A lot of works, a lot of this, a lot of behavior, a lot of law. Not law like that. Not law like Old Testament law, but law like a whole bunch of things. You got to do this and you got to do that. You got to have food for your family. And one time I was reading through the Proverbs 31 woman and a part stuck out to me like a sore thumb. It stuck out to me like a sore thumb. I was like, oh my goodness, I can't believe I'm sitting up here comparing myself, my life to this woman. And she had help. So let me see. Proverbs 31, Proverbs chapter 31 verse 15 it's a squirrel playing two squirrels playing together in the front yard anyway proverbs chapter 31 verse 15 says she also rises while it is yet night and provides food for her household and a portion for her maid servants this woman had maids <laughs> So when the Lord showed me that, I stopped, I stopped reading the Proverbs 31 for a while, like a long time. Like, and even when people bring it up, I'd be like, here we go again. Even though it's in scripture, I know, but we're not supposed to model ourselves after a Proverbs 31 trying to be her all day, every day. Like, no, it's Christ. Christ is our ideal role model. Um, 
every characteristic of Christ, his love, his forgiveness, his patience, his kindness, his goodness, his, his meekness, his humbleness, his, his ability to have wisdom from the Lord and just and use it and, and be wise in situations and to know when the enemy was on attack and to take, get thee behind me, Satan, and to know when Peter was, you know, denying him out of fear and not out of, um, the fact that he really didn't believe him, like he knew our hearts, he loves us. That's how he wants. He wants us to be compassionate, like he was, long suffering, like he was and is. He wants us to intercede for our brothers and sisters, even the people that don't know him. He wants us to intercede in prayer for them, like he intercedes day and night for us, the saints. That's who we model our life after. So you don't have to be up in the fields plowing and bringing it. That's a distraction of the enemy if you too focused on that and not focused on your relationship with Christ and growing to be more like Christ. I can't, and it, it's so crazy. I was reading that and forever in a long time I've read that and never hit on that part, the fact that she had maids. She had maids helping her. That's why she was able to have a field and, and have so much food ready and all this stuff and stuff and stuff. She had a maid. She had maids. It said her maid servants with an S and we don't have maids nowadays nowadays we do everything by ourselves even though a lot of stuff is easier like cooking is easier because we don't have to start a fire <laughs> like you know we can turn on the stove it's easier there's other stuff that takes our time up like teaching our children like homework and stuff like that that stuff takes our time teaching our children how to be Christ-like when on social media is everywhere sin sin do this sin do that sin that stuff takes time now because back in those times, they ain't have that much. I mean, they still had to teach and train their children and the Lord. But they ain't had that much. They ain't had no social media. They ain't had no TV. They ain't had no newspapers. Um, so they ain't have so much of a battle, you know, with the mind of their child. They probably did. But I feel like it's it's a, real heavy with the social media. But yeah, that Proverbs 31 woman has servants. So if you got a gang of your maid servants and y'all can do this, go ahead. But if she's not the ideal woman, in my mind, and that's not the woman we should be... Uh, you know, mo modeling our life after the person we should be modeling our life after is Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. We should be one to be holy like the Lord is holy, pursuing righteousness like Jesus Christ wants us to, like serving the Lord, bringing Him the glory. Whether you have a business and you, you know, whether you have a business, you five goats, two cows, <laughs> or you just don't have a business, you just be at home chilling. If you married. You know, you being a good woman for your husband, even when he's acting foolish, you still are long-suffering, patient, kind, interceding for him in prayer. Or if you're single and you're just serving the Lord, you're giving him your all, you're thankful for what you have, you go to work, you serve him, or you don't go to work, you work from home. Like, I mean, you can't, the Proverbs, one woman, Proverbs 31 woman is not going to be ideal for nobody. Nobody has her life. Nobody is her. We serve the Lord. If you're serving the Lord, you're doing what Christ has called you to do. You're doing a great commission. You're preaching that gospel. You're preaching a word of repentance. You, you know, you saying with us says the Lord for people. You, you interceding. You're doing all that. You give in of your time, of your resources, your money. If you very, if you give in, you do what the Lord told you to do through his Holy Spirit, you should be fine. Your children will still rise up and call you blessed. You will still be seen as a woman of God, whether you're single or married or anything, because this woman was married. But you could be a, not a proper thing. You could be being Christ-like, basically what I'm trying to say is being Christ-like is should be your highest of intentions. That's who you should want to be ideally. Not the Proverbs 30 woman. Christ is way up here. She like down here. Like, and now, Christ. Christ, Christ, Christ. Christ, Christ, Christ. Christ, Christ, Christ. So when somebody trying to shove the Proverbs 30 woman down your throat, yeah, that's good. And I know they ain't trying to mean you no know, harm. But when trying to be the Proverbs 30 woman become overwhelming and you start comparing yourself to her and you start to feel bad and down like you're not doing enough, that's when you drop the Proverbs 30 woman completely and go to the Lord in prayer and ask him to heal you and show you who he wants you to be for his kingdom, for your family, for your husband, or for your life, or for your singleness, or for your job, or for your children, or for for your nieces or for your nephews or for your grandparents or for your anybody it's christ 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 y'all have a good day bye bye